What up guys, so as most of you know, well my favorite car is the BMW i8 and I've had a little bit of money for a while where I could lease it or do something and like I could actually get it but I never really pulled the trigger on it and I feel like it was the right time. But I figured why wait, like I have a little bit of money right now, might as well spoil myself. So I just got the 2020 BMW i8. I don't think they're gonna make any more BMW i8 models. I believe it's stopping now in 2020, but I got the last one. So I got a brand new one right off the lot and here's a little montage that we took of my new car. Roll it. So like, I don't have, like I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have money for something like this. So you see a lot of YouTubers like getting these big fancy cars and twenty thousand dollar this and ten thousand dollar. The way our CPM is, it's just not. It doesn't work like other YouTubers. So I can't afford something like this and probably won't be able to for a little while. But hey, you can dream, right, Rob? Yes. Wasn't that a brick wall? Did they just change that to wood? Literally in one day they changed that. Yeah, what the heck? Let's talk about the homeless thing we did. Oh yeah, so when, should I say my, uh, I'll let you say your first bit and then I'll talk. Okay, so basically we did the homeless, um, a little Get clip. Bad gag out there then i posted that same picture on my instagram it got a little bit of backlash people like how do you think the homeless people feel like you i'm not wasn't even making fun of them but like I, I can see why people would get mad at that or feel some type of way so this is the picture that rob posted and him sitting there and then you got him holding up the washed up youtuber and hungry sign anything helps which is funny funny comedy Oops, um so sorry, so sorry. I uh rob can i talk to you for a second you know i'm wearing the golden goose shoes Looks good with the socks, by the way. I know we're making jokes about I can't afford anything, but these are some of my most prized possessions, dude. And you stepped on them, you know? I'm sorry, I actually didn't mean to. What were you doing jumping up there? I was just like, like excited to vlog and stuff, so I was like, oh, let me just like jump up there, and then I didn't see your foot there, because you had like a big just, You gotta foot. just make, just, like where you're walking and stuff. Like, you just gotta make sure that you're like not cognizant of where you're going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I gotta keep that in mind. I know you didn't mean to do it, but I'm yeah. just saying like, you should just be careful like, oh, bumping into people and stuff, like you gotta look where you. Yeah, your foot was right there. I stepped up. I should have seen that and it's my fault. And you're not wearing Rob socks? I'm not because I had it for the video. I ripped them up and stuff because I was doing the gag. Homeless, the gag thing that everyone hates me for now for some reason. But And because you're going through that, I'll give you some slack. We're good. Anyway, any hoosies, where were we? Uh, we're talking about photo. Uh, photo, photo on Instagram. Photo, Instagram. photo on Instagram. Rhino. <laughs> gets triggered he says that uh, y'all get mad at us whenever we say something and we just want our audience to like not be snowflakes because i don't think we are to be fair i also think addressing a comment doesn't mean that i'm offended by the comment triggered by the comment clarifying stuff i don't think is that a crime definitely not a crime i'm never sitting there oh my god <laughs> i think i just come on here just like i think y'all misinterpreted it this is how we're saying it in relation to rob's situation he said anyone got a place for me to stay tonight one like equals one put prayer please share this post and help spread the word anything helps god bless if you saw the vlog then you would have known that it was the whole gag it's obviously a joke right like this is what i don't want to do post an instagram post and then do a swipe or put it in my caption saying disclaimer don't take this super serious it's just an instagram social media not real life but apparently in my case like i can't really do anything that's what i hate about just this year and now this generation or i don't even know if it's this generation or what do you want to call it what are you allowed to make a joke about we have to now every joke we make for a video every video we make has to be what are people going to think about it? and i don't want to operate like that like, i don't want to make content that i have to like you have to censor yourself yeah to save other people's feelings yeah. and it's like of... whose feelings are we saving like to be quite honest with you like if you're homeless probably not have a phone or be on or care about social media or care about rob lopez on instagram uh, so basically some person or somebody said something that i'm gonna pull up see i put a party and they get hectic i'm learning the, <laughs> I'm learning the five e what is his name fabio foreign five e fabio Fa that's fabio fabio um he does the i just think it's so cool so i'm gonna learn it for the next couple days and then i'll be back with an update but so this person said damn i wonder how the people who are actually homeless and struggling to survive actually feels about this he capitalized actually too. first off the grammar on that was off damn i wonder how the people who are actually homeless and struggling to survive actually feels about this it's like a run-on I mean, sentence actually a little feel bit. about that you are offending people with good grammar because you just do any hoosies what 
on earth? I can't, when Rob was like, oh, is this like a bad joke to put? I was like, hell nah, like put that shit up. And he just validated the, exactly the snowflake mentality. I think anybody who says a snowflake comment needs to be spammed with snowflake emotions. They need to be snowflaked. They need to get snowflaked and, and get snowed on because I wonder how people who are actually homeless and struggling to survive feel about this. So first off, I bet you if they're homeless, they don't, they don't, not on Instagram. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Rob Lopez just posted this thing about homeless people. And I bet Ugh. you if you went up to a homeless person and then showed him my picture, hey, he just posted this about you. Like, are you, how do you feel? They don't care. How do you feel about this? They know what they are. Like, is this person going to every single movie director, producer that had a casting for a homeless person and is now contacting that network or company to say, hey, take that movie down. Like, what if the, uh, an actual, that homeless, homeless person, person seen that? the acting in that. There can't be someone portraying a homeless person in, in no movie. movies or shows or nothing. No anymore. shows, nor can you joke about being homeless. So if you're saying, I'm broke, I'm about to go homeless. Nope. Can't. So what would someone who's homeless say about that? Yeah. Okay, so now by that logic, what are, are you allowed to joke about? So you can't joke about homeless. Uh-uh. What's that? What, what else? Basically anything now. I'm just gonna like stop trying to say jokes, I think. No jokes. No jokes, jokes aren't allowed. Ever. And what type of world is that, dude? Can you believe that? Back in the days of Eddie Murphy comedy and whatnot, they be saying whatever and everyone was laughing. We're just trying to get people on the same page. We're trying to take a couple steps back a little bit because we're going on a way where it's like everything's getting too soft. So that snowflake, excuse me, that guy made that comment. And then here's what Rhino decided to rebuttal with. Hey, Mr. Keyboard Activist, it seems like you're a big supporter of helping the homeless. Why isn't your IG flooded with donation links and info on how people can help end homelessness? What are you doing for poor people? Maybe all that money you spend traveling could go to families in need. It's people like you that add to the snowflake mentality of this society. Stop looking for things to be offended by. Stop trying to be an IG hero. If a person in a comedy movie is playing a homeless character, are you gonna write in and demand the production company be shut down because an actor is pretending to be homeless? Are we supposed to live in a world where no one can make a joke about anything at all? Or are we only allowed to make jokes, jokes about things that you deem appropriate? Your next pick better be a video of you volunteering at a homeless shelter. And if someone was actually homeless, do you think they'd even, even be on IG looking at Rob's pictures saying to themselves, wow, this hurts me so much. Get real. I rarely respond to stuff because most of it's just a bunch of hoopla and like I don't really, I generally don't care that much, but I randomly will get a little ticked off because this guy's coming at Rob, my good friend. Thanks, dude. You didn't even have to stand up for me, but see, Whoa. that's what good friends do. Stand and for- And I could have said something, but I'm like, I don't even care, but hey, Ryan responded. I'm like, hey, okay. Cool. Stand for something, otherwise you'll fall for anything. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> it honestly, isn't even a big deal, but like it's he made not. it a big, big deal. I don't know. Yeah, and other people were too, but. And usually I ain't got time for stuff like this. I got time today. I was. I got some today. extra time today. All I had was a sock <laughs> drop, and that's it. But there were some people that were already being like, "Dude, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. It's just a joke." And then someone made a joke. They said, "Ah, uh, yes, as a homeless man, I've got gone out of my way to talk about Rob Lopez. This man made a joke about how he was washed up on Instagram. I'm very upset and disappointed. Basically, what actual homeless person." Washed up YouTuber, like that's a joke in itself. I agree, but still something doesn't. Bruh. Dogs these days, am I right? Um. <laughs> Rhino, I agree, but still something doesn't seem cool about joking about homelessness or joking about anything that is making light of other people's suffering. You know what I mean? Should I reply with a snowflake? Do you Look. know what he means though? Look. You have to know what he means. Comedy, comedians are some of the most depressed and sad people and, and have the most anxiety about things because they have to see the world for what it is and try to make light of it. So now you can only joke about things that are ha that are positive. What I'm gonna do before I make any joke, I'm gonna DM that guy and see if it's okay. See if it's okay. See if it's okay to do the joke and then and then I'll do it. And you're not allowed to make a joke about something that anyone suffers. I know there's a, one of our favorite comedians, Andrew Schultz. Yeah. He had a great like back and forth spot with a guy in a wheelchair and he was making wheelchair jokes and the guy yeah. in the wheelchair was coming back. That's have fun. The point of comedy is like you can laugh about things that are serious and people suffer from and stuff as a way to cope with it. Whoa, crazy concept. I could be having a terrible day suffering from something, blah, 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 blah. Hey man, blah, 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 make a joke about it to help get through it. People just be saying anything. And people are <laughs> bored too, like at home, like just trying to get triggered or mad about anything. Triggered, Matt, try to be some advocate for this and that. I guess all we can do is stay true to ourselves. True to ourselves and, and not change for anyone. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. That's it.